So again, in this video, I'm going to continue the refining of the base sap, and let's start doing this. So here you can see I have two loops going on because of this. I just put it. Uh, I just put those two loops, and now we need to adjust this sap. So go to vertex mode here. I need this sap, so let's move this. So the point is slowly we are going to get the basic bigger shapes and slowly we'll move towards the small details. Okay, now you can see I'm like from a straight shape. Now I have a little rounded shape there. So let's do. So I don't like to stick to a one, uh, to one place for a long time. So go to different place and do the same level of details. Don't concentrate on one area and no okay so let's move this thing here to match here so and here if i press three you can see i'm losing this corner so i can do one thing i need a curve here and i need like corner kind of here so i can move this vertex towards it so that it holds that shape better and i can do here as well the same thing you can see a little bit curve is there Thing from here and now it's totally straight I think the reference is not exactly straight so that's fine you can do that let's match it Something like this maybe and now if you press 3 it's uh, matching or holding the shape better but still we need to maybe tweak it a bit let's make it more closer something like this let's go to the view here okay and now i'm going to put some more loops here to get this shape you can see the curve if i hide the model you can see this shape here so i'm going to get this basic big shapes first so let's select this edge and go to like edge ring and edge ring split then let's move something like this and the bottom part is not straight so i'm going to rotate it like this maybe or we can just move it let's move these sides okay now i'm going to uh, make this angular shape in the front area so if you check the image let me go here you can see this angular shape here so let's do that i can do that by just beveling this shape let's select all this save i believe it's everywhere it's prominent here but it's subtle here so let's do that let's select it and let's bevel those like this and now i'm going to make it a round because of these things it's it's not round let's move it and for the top part you can see this uh, this bevel kind of effect here if you check other images you can definitely see it you can see this bevel round shape here so let's do that so i'm going to again bevel these things this loop here so let's bevel okay so in the right side you can see this shape here this complex space so i'm going to like block this so let's we have already two edge loops matching with this shape here now i just need to have one edge loop here somewhere so that i can like select and extrude this area so i'm going to add one edge loop somewhere um, here like this okay somewhere here and now i'm going to add one edge loop here I think I need to uh, add one edge loop here. So let's let's go and insert one edge loop here. N not like this. Something like this. And one edge loop here. Okay. So once uh, I need one edge loop more, and for this step kind of thing here. So let's add one edge loop somewhere here. So now let's select all these faces from here till somewhere here and maybe this space in order to get this thing 
I think let's check this one. Yeah, that's correct. So let's extrude now and give it an offset so that we have something, you no, know, some edge loops to get a sharp edge when we are going to smooth it. So now I'm going to extrude again, and this time I'm going to move inside by using this Z manipulator. Now, yeah, now I'm going to deselect this thing. I don't need those anymore. And I think this is fine. I'm going to delete these faces. Let's delete these faces till here. And I'm going to extract these faces. Let's extract this piece. Go to edit mesh and extract. Once I extract, now I can just fill this area for this piece and I can extrude this piece. So let's extrude the border edge here for this piece. Extrude so that we have something it's not like empty like this so complex shape there and now i am going to extrude this piece as well this shape here okay now i'm going to you no know, fill this area so i'm going to extrude this loop this edge only so let's extrude and let's extrude again so i'm matching with here like this now i'm going to either i can merge it so let's go to target weld tool go to mesh tools and target weld now go to vertex mode here and just bring this vertex till here and this to till here i think could have i could have extruded all these spaces i think so maybe extrude this again i can just hold v and move so my here your vertex so it will snap there now i'm going to again target weld tool again you can hold shift right mouse and will this get this target weld here so let's move this vertex to here and now i'm going to move or extrude this i think i could have extruded this as well so let's extrude till here extrude you can scale it make it flat hold v and snap till here you can go to target weld tool and merge it carefully just in case uh, like this in case you won't able to do this then you can just do one thing let's say select this vertex hold v and snap to it it's just only snapping so still i have two vertices there now you need to just select both of them like this carefully and go to edit mesh and mouse to center if target weld is hard for you or uh, now i have to do the same thing here so let's select and go to edit mesh mouse to center make sure you are not merging anything behind there and you can see behind here I by mistakely extruded something so let's select and press shift greater than to like grow the selection and delete it I think I should grow it once more to get rid of this loop yeah delete it and fill this area okay so I'm going to stop this video here in the next video we're going to refining the shape